If you were to ask me what the most underrated and underappreciated unit in all of Total War is, I would probably say the Kisho Ninja of Shogun 2. There's actually quite a lot of units in Shogun 2 that are just underappreciated in general. The Fire Rockets are a big one, a lot of people just don't realise what they're capable of. And that's what is really interesting to me. Untapped potential, untapped capability and discovering it. So Kisho Ninja are the mother load when it comes to untapped potential in Total War because they're a tiny unit, quite expensive, really serious disadvantages to offset some immense advantages. They have really good melee stats, 10 melee defense, so they have melee defense on par with hero units pretty much, that's higher than Yari Samurai. And they've got 15 attack, and they have abilities that can temporarily boost it, like stealth. And they also have blinding grenades. And that's the thing, when you're using Kisho Ninja, a lot of their potential comes from your tactics, your ability to be aware and make the most of their unique properties, their orthogonal differentiations. They've got blinding grenades, they've got 10 volleys of bombs, they've got the stealth, they've also got the ability to hide anywhere and while walking, so there's a lot that they can do that you can utilise, and also in sieges they're useful. To start with, I'm going to just show how they perform against a unit of katana samurai that's tired. So this is their counterpart, sword armed infantry, a full unit, a full unit, a full sized unit of swords, Our here's how they do. Is in grave danger, my lord. So they did decently on the charge, they killed more than they lost. They have a kill death ratio of just over one, and this is just standard katana samurai. So they can pull a KD just over one in a fair fight against Katana Samurai, but if it was just Katana Samurai and straight fights against Kisho Ninja, Katana Samurai could cut through several units of Kisho Ninja in succession. All hope is failing, my lord! The battle is almost done! So they have about 100 left, they lose 60 to kill 60 when it comes down to it, because of the force multipliers. So that's how a normal fight goes. They don't look very good. Just in a standard fight, you charge them, they charge you. That is how it goes. But now we're going to start using their abilities and seeing where their actual potential lies. Same again. Yep, and these are just standard Kisho Ninja, standard Katana Samurai. And I'm going to do it again, except this time I'm going to use that stealth ability. And what stealth does is pretty much preclude the charge from the enemy. And of course, I can deploy all the way up here, which in complex battlefield situations, that is really powerful. You can deploy in trees and hold trees and then spring out. So there's so many options in a unit like this. There's so much that this unit can do. Even if you only have one in an army, that unit can turn the tide of battle if things go just right. All right, here we go. Same again. And I'm going to just charge. And we're on flat ground. And I'm going to stealth just as they're about to charge. And they didn't get to charge back. They didn't counter charge. They didn't get to counter charge. We are at 50 kills, one loss. So we just killed 50 to lose almost none. And also we have extra melee attack, extra charge bonus. So that's what the stealth does. It also buffs stats. So this is looking like a completely different fight. See, because we got the charge off and we have superior stats. 
37 versus 50. And we still have the buff to our stats. And now the buff has worn off and we're 30 against 40. My lord! And we won a with half a unit left. Will soon be yours. So a unit of Kisho Ninja can wreck a unit of Katana Samurai with just stealth. And it recharges in what, two and a half minutes? So that is a unit that's really strong in the melee. It has good charge, which we negated. So imagine against Nodashi Samurai, which relies very heavily on the charge, or a unit like Yaru Samurai, which has good charge, but is weak in the melee against infantry. Maybe we'll do that. Alright, I'm going to do something else now. Alright, same again. This time, I am going to use a volley of bombs. We had 30 left there. So, we could get a volley of bombs, and then stealth, and then charge, like that. Let's do it. So I'm gonna just walk up, and then... Charge! So I got a volley of bombs off, killed about 40, got the stealth off, and they managed to attack without charging. So we got... That looks like a weak charge. It looks like it's not going to go as well. See how finicky it is? See how there's so many variables? If you can be the master of your enemy, you have so much potential. But yeah, I might have to do this again. I might do something else. I might throw the bombs and then charge and then... No, I might throw the bombs, run away, then go back and try and take the charge in stealth and we'll see how that goes. So we're below half. We're already doing worse than last time. They may actually win it this time. See how fragile the unit is? A minute ago we were doing really fine. But we might lose. It's close. And of course, the longer the fight goes on, the more of the fight I occurs without stealth being active. Will soon be so you want the entire time you're in the melee to be under the influence of stealth, and I don't know what that is, like 30 seconds? Alright, so we won anyway, we still won. But I'm gonna try and do that, I'm gonna try and do it even better this time. And also, when you throw the bombs at a unit, it fragments the unit, it stops it in its tracks. So I'm gonna try and do that, I really want to try and do that. And then, if I can combine that first fight with the bomb advantage, and th those bombs were really good. You saw how many kills they got, that was about 40 kills. So that is really, really good. So I'm gonna try, I'm gonna do my best to combine those and try and win with more than 30 men. Because that was what we won with. We won with 30 men. So let's try again. Alright, so we're walking, throwing bombs, and then as soon as the whole volley is loosed, I am going to run away and hope that they don't catch us, because they will try. So I want every man to throw the bomb. Yeah, that's it, that's it. Look at that carnage. Holy shit, 40 kills. Again. And see how the men at the front are waiting. They're slowing down to wait, so that buys us time. And look at how in disarray this unit is. Imagine if a unit of Katana Cavalry was to run through that. Our general is in grave danger, my lord! My lord, a glorious victory will soon be yours! Oh man, that kind of worked. We only lost 15. 
And I, the charge looked good, but there wasn't really momentum in it. They should have kept going. They should have a field day. And this is one of the ways that Shogun 2 could so easily be improved on. Imagine if they implemented that, if cavalry can actually run through loose units that aren't braced like that properly. You sort of saw that in Three Kingdoms, but not really. Alright, let's try it again. Alright, I got a, I got a volley off, so... Let's try it now. Our general is in and I got the charge. They Lord. did not counter charge. They did not get to. So we now get... It looks like... Mm, are they just standing there? They are caught totally flat footed it looks like. 52 against 80. 74. 48 against 70. We've lost 12. You have 46. Look at that, we lost oh, a third. So instead of losing a half, we lost a third. Man, see how there's so much potential here? Do you see this potential? This is immense. And you really want to have keybinds that you know well to use this in battlefield situations where it matters the most. 160 men in a katana samurai at the cost of 20 of a unit of Kishu Ninja already is looking really good. And start. I'm gonna try and do that again. Except not have that weird shit happen. I want them to reform and eat the charge. See the way my guys were running up the hill? I didn't like that. It seemed like we kinda glitched out or something. I hated that. It was really putting me off. Both of our units started to behave strangely there. I really didn't like it. Hopefully it goes right this time. Throw your bombs. I could maybe, maybe match the length of the unit. Alright. Yep, that's it, that's it. And once again, about 40 dead. 39 dead. That's immense. Yep, so... They're coming. I'm gonna try and fight them on the flat ground again. And yeah, yeah, they're forming up, so I want them to get into a line. I want them to be in a packed line. Once again. Yep, so that's it. That's a good charge target. Alright. Our general is in grave danger, my lord! And it worked, I think. Did it? Did I get my full charge? I don't think they were charging at any point there. And they're just standing. So... They're behaving strangely. And my guys are dying. Yeah... We're gonna get the same result again. Maybe slightly better. Nah, nah. A little bit worse. 40v40. And we're gone. 40. So we lost a third again. We've won every fight so far, haven't we? Every fight. And we haven't even touched blinding grenades yet. <laughs> and you might be wondering, is it possible to just bomb over and over and over again? And it it's a bit of a risk every time you try and do it. Alright, here we go. Just bombing, running, bombing, running, bombing, running. Let's see how this goes. I think I can make this work. If we get lucky, we can make it work. Yeah, there we go. <sighs> yeah, so it's meant to kill 40 men. That's a quarter of the unit. So if we do this right, every time, we'll kill about 40 men. So we should only have to do this three or four times. But as you can see, they stand up and get their cohesion back quite quickly. So once they bunch up into a block, they're a viable target again, and we can turn around and go for seconds. Uh, 
Come on, get cohesion. There we go. That'll do it. Alright, that's better work. Come on, come on, come on. See that there? That is what messes it up. Come on! Oh my god. My god, they, they fucking... Come on! Come on! What are we gonna get to? Our general is in grave danger, my lord! Oh, shit, we're gonna take losses. Yeah, we're taking casualties, taking decent amounts of casualties now. That's a setback. Yeah, see that, see that, see how it goes. I need to do that again. Second try, let's do this. And by the way, slings exist in Shogun 2 even. Thanks to ninjas. Ninjas have slings. I love it. Another reason for them to be my favourite unit. Alright, come on, let's do it. Oh, 43, that's one of my best ever. 43 kills. Oh man. Look at that, a free 43 kills on a unit katana samurai. The most important 43. The first 43, immense. Alright, run away and fast forward. Let them catch up. And then... Hold fire. And stand there. And then once they're comfortably within range, I'm gonna enable fire at will. And let them, let them go. See how they stopped there? Did you see that? See how the AI is acting out slightly? See how they're behaving strangely, the fuckers? Look at them, they're still spread out. Alright, here we go, here we go, maybe. Yep, 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 yep. We're on. Second volley. And we, we killed 43 with the first one, so that was down to 17. So we killed 43 and then we killed 19. Oh man. Get over there. Alright, 43, 19, so we killed 62 so far. And again. And they're tired now, that's good. That's really good that they're tired. Now we walk and get ready for the third volley. Come on, come on, come on, come on, make it go, go. Really, just one bomb? Stealth. Go, oh, come on, come on, come on. Alright, we've got them down to 77, more than half. And then we stealth, they don't get a charge. We do get a charge. And we kill... A unit of katana samurai at the cost of... My lord! A glorious oh, victory oh, oh, will oh, soon oh. be yours! Oh. We've got... 11 lost. So it kind of works. Let's see if I can do it perfectly. You very quickly run out of map when you're doing this. And I should probably want to run up hills. And let's match them for thickness. And go. And I'm going to be running up the hill. That will give me a higher frequency between volleys. Oh my god. 48. Holy crap. 48 kills with a volley, and that was when I matched the, the length of the unit. So, if you're going to be trying to get effective ninja volleys for equal, for even bomb distribution, <laughs> match the length of the unit. Oh, it's brutal. See if we can do that a, a few times, 48 kills, then again, then again. Man, this katana samurai is going to be gone. Come on, please throw, please throw, please, please, come on, what, oh, 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 they did it, I love it, and now they'll slow down as they have to catch up with their guys in front, 
and I'll get another volley. At least one more. And I might go with blinding grenades and stealth for this one. Maybe I can hit them while they're all spread out like that with the blinding grenades. 93 left. 93? 93, man. Alright, blinding grenades. Come on, blind them! Blind them! Alright, four volleys. Oh man. Three losses. <laughs> Alright, that does it. That's what I wanted to show for that. Alright, now the last thing. Blinding grenades. Fucking blinding grenades. Yeah, so if I can combine all three of those... Oh man. So I'm gonna try and do that. I'm gonna combine all three of those against Katana Samurai. Alright, let's do it. And we're playing as the Shimizu against the Hojo, so these are of course just generic units. So we're not using Hattori Kisho Ninja that have been buffed up with the unofficial Kisho Ninja fix patch. Alright, let's go. Same again, except this time I'm gonna blinding grenade before I stealth. And you need to run away. You need to run away because the guys that are running will catch you. So you need to let them stop and regroup and get their cohesion back. You're taking advantage of the unit behaviours there to do that. Alright, so let them let them slow down, fall behind. Let them fall behind. And then Alright, here we go. And they're blinded like fuck. And they get no charge, and we do. And you can see them getting fucking decapitated all the way along. And they are still under the influence of the grenades. So we've lost none. They are still under the influence of the grenades, I think. Alright, we're starting to take casualties now, so it's worn off. Oh shit, shit, shit. The longer the fight lasts, the worse it is for the ninjas. Mmm. 45, we're down to a quarter lost. Quarter lost, a third lost. See how these fights are so volatile because you have such small units? Down to My Lord, half lost. A glorious victory will soon be yours. So we lost just under half there. So if we could properly stack all of these advantages, you can see the potential. You can see it. It's immense. To sum up, this is a unit that has serious strengths, serious weaknesses, and it's up to the player to really understand them and understand the game systems and how to use these really prominent strengths while avoiding these weaknesses. This is a fragile unit that can be devastating, devastating like no other unit in the game, or possibly really in any Total War game because Shogun 2 is a really punishing, hard counter, awareness based, action based RTT with solid tactics including terrain advantage which when you stack height advantage onto a Kisho ninja charge into a weaker opponent with blinding grenades or even just hit the side of a line with Kisho Ninja so they're taking no aggro guaranteed and this is what's really fascinating about Kisho Ninja the stealth ability means that they function like two units because they get the free charge that usually can only happen when a unit is occupied and taking the charge is the only option because otherwise you're pulling out of a melee that you're already embroiled in and that is unacceptable you can't do that, you have to just get charged so Kisho Ninja 
even though they're just one unit and you might even consider taking them to be a bad decision that weakens your army, even in multiplayer, they can do things that no other units can and make opportunities that don't really exist in situations for any other units. For example, in multiplayer, I have seen people just deploy Kishou Ninja behind the enemy army and then charge in as soon as the battle begins and the other player is occupied and succeed at catching the enemy general in the melee and killing him and winning the battle. That is Kishou Ninja winning the battle on their own by sniping the general and just <laughs> causing chaos because it doesn't just cause chaos on the field, it also causes chaos in the opponent's mind. So Shogun 2 multiplayer really brought out an interesting dimension to the Kishou Ninja. That stealth ability combined with that 36 charge from from being in stealth into the back of a general's bodyguard, that can kill generals. It can happen. If you can learn how all of these little abilities they have, which you might think turning invisible at the click of a button is gamey, and of course I'm especially opposed to button-based ability clicking user interface spam, but Shogun 2 doesn't go overboard with that stuff and also you can actually hotkey it to use it properly. It's not a fuck around on your screen for buttons in the heat of combat. You can muscle memory these abilities, which is what I wanted to make sure I had right before I resumed my Hattori campaign where I'm going to obviously try and make the most of Kishou Ninja because that was what I wanted to do for my Hattori campaign ultimately. I wanted to use the devastating potential of Kishou Ninja to its fullest extent and back then I had to get my user interface my interfacing optimised to make that more possible so that's what I did and now I'm ready and when the time comes I'll resume it. Also something else that I really think you should know if you're going to be using Kishou Ninja and trying to pull off feats with them you might want to consider the mod that fixes them because when the Hattori DLC was introduced and they copy pasted over units, they didn't fucking tweak the stats up like they're meant to for unique variants. They are nerfed. Hattori Kishou Ninja and Tokugawa Kishou Ninja, they are both inferior variants because they have the exact same stats in the melee, which is wrong. Unique variants that are stronger are supposed to have slight buffs to their essential melee stats and morale and accuracy re reload. These things, charge bonus as well. For example, Date and Odashi have higher charge. So Hattori and Tokugawa Keisho Ninja are supposed to be more potent than the generic version. Instead, the only difference is they have less ammo. So it's a travesty. This is one of the most gameplay rich units in all of Shogun 2, potentially, even if it was never really realised by many players, and maybe it never will be, and instead of making the most of it by giving them that extra attention all the way through development, they are still to this day nerfed. Essentially it's a glitch, a bug, <laughs> it's pathetic. You have to use the Steam Workshop fix mod, so I recommend you do that. If you're going to play Shogun 2, you really should just have that by default. That's like an unofficial patch to fix a bug. So I'm going to link that in the description. And I highly recommend, if you haven't appreciated the Kishou Ninja and their gameplay potential, I highly recommend you try a Hattori campaign and get Kishou Ninja as soon as possible and start trying to utilize them alongside Katana Samurai and Yari Walls, even just taken forts during sieges, they have a lot of uses, like the gameplay opens up, unfolds in front of them, and I highly recommend every Shogun 2 enthusiast sees it for themselves. Alright, thanks for watching. Hopefully you found this interesting and informative, and I'll see you next time. It's so hard to have everything go well enough for there to be a chain route when you're dealing with samurai with XP like that. Everything just went well. And see that flank with the Kishou Ninja right behind him? <laughs> that was what made that happen.
that was so important, having that Kisho Ninja go, go behind, because they couldn't rally because they were too close to one of my units. And then it was just about getting every other unit to join in on the route. And just like that, they got fucking destroyed. And he's recruited bows, so, and a unit of wooden cannons did we capture. If you appreciate my efforts and would like to show your support, check out my Patreon. Special thanks to Matteo Olivetti, Nerdington, the Rody 451, Halfin, Robert Sparks, and Dake.